Hello, this is Quincy Ackman with Makerspace Charlotte, and today we're going to show you how we make compressed air rockets. These compressed air rockets are really simple. They're made with just paper and tape. We use a couple simple things to make them. We have a tube that matches the uh, rocket launch tube that we're going to be firing our rocket from. Same diameter. We just use half inch uh, Schedule 40 PVC. We actually pre-coat this um, tube with a couple layers of tape to ensure that our rocket can fit onto the tube when we're done making it even when we roll it really tight. We'll use some scissors to trim things up in the end. We've got a couple optional steps that we'll show you along the way. Um, before we get started, we also like to use these plastic fold-out tables. They're really easy. They keep the tape from sticking to the table too bad. And the reason we do that is because the first step we have is we uh, measure out a piece of tape about as long as our rocket. And we go ahead and we just tape that right down to the paper, the table, and everything. Um, if you have a laser cutter, you can go ahead and cut fun shapes into your uh, rocket. Then we take a second piece of tape. We measure this one out to be a little bit longer. We make sure that we line up this piece of tape, even with the first piece of tape in the bottom of the piece of paper, and we overrun the other side. That's our, the tape is what's going to provide the strength to our rocket. We go ahead and pull our rocket up. We flip it over, and we line up our tube. We make sure that the extra part of the tube is going to miss the tape, and the tape is going to miss the tube. Then we flip up our paper and roll, roll, roll your rocket tightly towards the tape and just keep on rolling. You want to make sure that the, the rocket is completely covered in tape because the tape is what provides the strength. When we come up to the top, we make sure the tube is flush with the top of the paper. We fold this tape over the top and back down the side. This is what's going to cap our rocket and keep the air pressure in. Then we want to neatly tuck and fold these sides in so we get a nice aerodynamic shape on our rocket and smooth that down the side. Same thing on the other end. We go ahead and tuck that in. Hospital folds if you're familiar with those. And that is our rocket body. The next thing we need to move on to is our fins. Um, fins are really simple to make. There are a couple different ways you can make them. You can pull off about four or five inches of tape. You can stick it to itself in sort of an inverted T, and you can stick that right to the rocket, and that'll make a sufficient fin. You trim it up later with the nice rocket shape. We're not going to do that because we were playing around with laser cutter, and we trimmed up a couple of uh, special simple little fins. And this also adds a little color to the fins that makes them stand out and easier to see. But same basic technique. We're just going to take and stick a piece of four or five inch tape to our fin, leaving about an inch, inch and a half of extra tape off to the inside uh, root edge of our fin. We then tape that. We line it straight up and down on our rocket, right at the back end of our rocket. And we tape this end down. Then we fold this fin back over. And we fold our tape back around. It's not critical that this piece of tape come back flat or meet right at the exact edge of that fin. That's OK. Just go ahead and smooth that extra all the way around on the rocket. Straighten it back out. Squeeze it all together. We're going to come back with our scissors and just trim our tape to match our rocket. Nice and simple, and you can trim off the end here as well. So that's our fin firmly attached to the rocket. We're going to go ahead and repeat that two more times to get three nice fins on our rocket. And it goes three. These um, fins you also want to have at 120 degrees. If you've um, got a tube, you can pre-make a, a shape to help you mark those fins. But once, once you get it marked, you can set it on a tube, and that'll help you get the rest of your fins in the exact right space if you care about that. If not, you can just eyeball it. That's, uh, that's good enough. These rockets will fly anyway. All right, we're just going to tape that down, fold it back over, and again, tape it all around. If you've got a little bit of extra tape here, which we'll probably have on our third and final fin, you can just run it up the side of the next fin. That's just fine. Go ahead and trim off our extra tape once again. And move on to our third and final fin. And here we go. Third fin down, 120 degrees around. Notice this piece of tape is running over the next fin. That's quite all right. You don't have to worry about that too much. We're just going to go ahead and trim it up in a moment. And we'll tape that guy down. And same deal. Uh, with the extra tape over here. Again, not a problem. We're just going to come back and trim all of our fins to get that nice rocket shape and get the extra off. 
if you're making your fins um, with just tape or with uh, the extra paper underneath so that they really kind of stand out, you want to make sure that you trim this leading edge off because that will fold over in flight and it will cause your rocket to flop kind of uncontrollably. The last thing you do is you may have a little bit of extra tape here either from your fins or from your initial uh, rolling of the tube. Just go ahead and cut that extra tape off. Squeeze the rocket flat as you do that. It makes it a little bit easier. Now, this rocket will fly great. There are two things that you can do that will really improve it. One, you can add weight to the front of the rocket. Rockets always fly heavy end first. And uh, if you think your rocket's heavy at the back, your rocket's about to show you where the front really is. So a uh, great way to add that extra weight to the front is with a couple wraps of electrical tape. The other thing that you can do is you can add a nose cone to your rocket. And for this rocket, since it looks kind of nice as is, we're going to go ahead and add a nose cone to improve it a little bit more. So grab your next favorite color. And you really only need a half sheet. You can fold it in half if you want, rip it in half, and save the paper if you want. And all that you do um, is you put one finger in the middle of your half sheet, and then you turn it over. I usually turn it over on my thumb. And um, just keep rolling this cone around. Now, it's going to get bigger as it moves on down the paper. So you don't want to start with it big enough to fit over the end. That might end up a little too big. And if you check it, we've got plenty of room on our nose right there. So we're going to take a piece of tape, set it down. We're going to go ahead and put this piece of tape right on the edge of our paper so that when we finish rolling our rocket, it'll go ahead and stick. We're just going to go ahead and re-roll. And this time we're going to get it just a little bit tighter. And as we push it down, you'll see that the tape grabs and it holds our nose cone in. One thing that really helps with these rockets is if you take the extra scraps of paper and tape and stuff it down in there. Start with small pieces first so they get all the way to the tip. That'll add more weight to the rocket and it'll also make that nose cone a lot more resilient so that when it hits the ground, it's easy to straighten it back out. It doesn't get too crumpled. But for this, we're going to go ahead and skip that step since it takes a couple of minutes to do that. We'll fit our nose cone on. You want to make sure that you've got a little bit of overlap um, on the nose cone. So here we've got about three quarters of an inch of overlap. That's a little more than I normally like. So I'm just going to go ahead and squeeze my nose cone flat and curve it just a little bit as I go around to help flatten it out. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go cut in just about a quarter of an inch um, some slots on here that will help this cone uh, smooth out flat as I put it back on the nose of the rocket. Electrical tape works really well um, in this application because we can kind of stretch it out and uh, and really uh, squeeze that nose cone on so it smooths out nicely. So we'll take some electrical tape, we'll put it down, and squeeze it onto our rocket. Now, the first thing that you're going to notice is that your nose cone is going to want to pull to the side. What you want to do is hang the fins off the side of your table and roll that nose cone around and see where it goes to its high point and where it goes to its low point. Find that point and bend that nose cone back until it's rolling in pretty much the same area. And then you want to add a little more tape to help hold it in place. And so I think I know where that is. So I'm going to go ahead and find the end of my tape and roll it a little bit more. Now there's one last thing that we do to these rockets very often here at Makerspace Charlotte. And that is, if we're going to launch these rockets at night, as colorful as this is, they don't stand up against the night sky. So the last thing that we'll do is we'll take a little LED, and usually we get the blinking uh, slow or fast blinking LEDs, and we'll take uh, the old 2032 uh, watch battery. Um, LEDs um, are very sensitive to the polarity. They're, they're diodes, after all, and so it matters which way you plug them on. And so we'll stick an LED onto the end of our battery, then we'll use a little bit more electrical tape and we'll first wrap it two or three times around uh, the rocket and then we'll uh, around the, the battery to hold the LED to the battery and then a couple of times around the rocket. This is good for a couple of reasons. One, we can see the, the rocket obviously at night, but it adds weight to the front of the rocket, which is a great thing. Um, sometimes we'll also put two on, that way we can see it a little better going up and coming down. But this is a compressed air rocket, the way that we make them at Hackerspace Charlotte. It's fast, it's easy, um, and these rockets fly phenomenally well. You can run them at high pressure and launch them again and again. So thank you very much. Have a great time making your rockets, and let us know how it works for you.